Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, the RAM price for EOS, as well as some uh, tools for EOS. You can check it out. And before we get into that, um, Binance is going to have an airdrop for the V4 token. This is basically uh, the gas of the V chain. So V chain, I talk about the V chain token swap probably a month ago. And if you have a V chain token in Binance, Binance automatically already swap the token for you. So the, they swap from uh, VEN to VET. So for every one VEN, you're going to get hundred VET. And they also uh, adjust the price as well. So when you go to Binance, the price is already adjust because they already increased the number of tokens as well. So in order to qualify for this airdrop, uh, you have to have VET uh, in Binance. At, uh, they're going to take a snapshot on August 1st UTC time. So this, this will be for the uh, VET token holder in Binance. This will be a 100 million VT, uh, V4 airdrop. So V4 is basically uh, like a guess, just like Neo is a guess. So this is just like a guess in a VeChain network. So this airdrop is independent of the normal monthly, monthly V4 uh, distribution. This is extra. So you can check it out. And of course with the price, um, of course with the uh, airdrop, the, the price gone crazy, you know. Uh, I think it's twenty six percent. It goes up all the way. I think uh, in my in my inner circle, we make an entry in here. Anyway, uh, the next stop is the Odyssey airdrop. So Odyssey is going to have an airdrop on August first, and in order to qualify for the Odyssey uh, airdrop, you have to have. 5,000 Odyssey token, 5,000 is roughly 40 bucks uh, US dollars and also you have to download the OC pay and you have to, in, in case you are interested and if you want to get some Odyssey token, you can get in KuCoin and you can also, uh, if you don't have a KuCoin account, you can click the link below, this will help my channel as well also, high performance token, uh, blockchain, they're going to have a giveaway so you can check it out I'll put the link below as well and before we get into that uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop giveaway uh, half up or ICO also you can follow me in Twitter I follow a lot of projects uh, that is under the radar so you can check it out as well and let's get into it so EOS block producer votes to raise RAM supply to lower the cost of running dApps. So um, because EOS mainnet after they launch they face a lot of issues like for example the controversial network constitution and then a shortage of RAM supply and also um, so yesterday uh, July 26 EOS block producer vote to increase the RAM supply and lower the cost for developing uh, dApps, which is decentralized application. I mean, this is, this is crucial because if a uh, developer want to uh, come to EOS to uh, launch the dApps, but your RAM price is so expensive, that may discourage innovation, right? And... Um, So decentralized applications require significant amount of memory, uh, memory space to store the temporary data for their programs, and uh, developer has to purchase with EOS uh, on the EOS brand market. So opening, for example, right now you just when you open a new EOS account, it requires four kilobytes of RAM, and it roughly when you onboard a new user, roughly you pay about three point five EOS. Uh, or 30 bucks. I think current RAM price probably for uh, 15 to 20 bucks you can uh, create a EOS account. 
the current RAM price right now is 0 0.19 uh, EOS per kilobyte. So I think it used to be like 29.29 or 0.2 something, 0.29, 0.25 uh, or something, I think I feel, uh, yesterday. Uh, let's see, yeah, used to be it goes higher around 0.2, but because of increasing the RAM price, right now the RAM price uh, start to drop a little bit. And actually it dropped substantially from a few weeks ago. It was uh, insane. It's, it's total speculation a few weeks ago for the EOS uh, RAM price. So because although the innovation solution to the RAM distribution, but the market-based approach leaves the allocation of RAM susceptible to shortage and price inflation, also the network faces centralized issues and with harder and speculator holding nearly 85% of the network's RAM capacity. And this prevents developers from accessing necessary RAM for building uh, and deploying dApps. I mean, this is, this is crucial. I mean, you don't want to be speculation on RAM and not focus on developing uh, depths. Those will create a network effect and in, re and in turn, after uh, uh, increasing the network effect, this will increase the value of EOS. I mean, this is uh, more fundamentals, right? With over 85% available RAM being kept by select individuals, the demand for scale developer resources was driving forces behind uh, beyond affordability. So on July 4th, which is a few weeks ago, uh, the cost of one megabyte of RAM was approximately like over 700 EOS and roughly about 6,455 US dollars. And so block producer, they have the power to uh, resolve this issue and they can increase the RAM capacity and then they do the voting on the July 24th. So 15 of the 21 active block producers, they forced to approve the network upgrade and increase the EOS RAM capacity from 64 gig to 128 gig. And um, the upgrade is currently in effect and will increase the RAM capacity to about one kilo, uh, kilobyte per block or 120 uh, kilobyte per minute until it reach uh, 128 uh, gigabyte. So Right now, I mean, uh, the cost of the RAM uh, right now is one third. Before it's over 700 years. Right now it's like around 235 years uh, at the time of this, this article, which is yesterday. And today is even lower, the price. So what do, uh, let me know what you think about uh, the EOS RAM price. Do you think this is good to the community? Do you agree that uh, the block producer uh, increased the RAM price? And also, um, there's a pretty cool uh, tools from Cypherglass. So Cypherglass is one of the uh, block producer, and uh, they are pretty. Uh, they always give us give the uh, community the update what's going on uh, in the EOS uh, market, and also they give our hundred thousand bounty for creating a hardware wallet for the EOS. So uh, at Cypherglass did a lot for the community, and. You can see the producer nooks uh, in different locations. You can see EOS tribe is in Wyoming. If you click in there, they will tell you the location is in Wyoming. And then uh, Cypherglass is in Kansas City. And let's see. And then there's a EOS box myth, uh, I think it's in Oklahoma. Also, you have, uh, let's see. EOS Nation in Canada, and then you have uh, Super Neo, oh, this is Neo, Super Neo IO block producer. Uh, somehow the producer can not, producer not located is uh, EOS Wahubi, and then uh, EOS Sweden. Hmm. It, this is interesting because when I click earlier, uh, this they show up in here, but somehow it's maybe they're offline or something. You can see all the notes, okay? You can see all the notes, what's going on. Uh, and also you can see the producer notes and also you can see the main location. You can see uh, EOS Canada, EOS Nation, and then you can also see uh, the uh, the main location. You can see uh, some block producer in the UK 
and also in Amsterdam, Sweden, Tokena. Tokena is in. Tokena is in Pol、uh, Poland, and then you have、uh, also you have、uh, Crypto Alliance is in Ukraine, and you also uh, have Yours、um, Africa and then Yours、uh, Nairobi, Nairobi. And Green Mars is interesting. Green Mars actually is near the border of Mongolia and Kazakhstan. That is interesting. Green Mars is in China. Star Eos is in China. Eos Canon, of course, is in China. Eos Ampu, you know, Ampu is basically the uh, uh, the bit the bit man, right? Uh, the bit man, right? They are the one who do the Bitcoin mining. And you have、uh, Japan also. They have Mid Dot One is actually is in is it Malaysia? Is in Singapore? Is in Singapore? Yeah, is in Singapore. And General Eos is in Sydney. So you can see the location of different block producer using these tools, and also you can have uh you can see the uh producer node as well, and you can see the top fifty active block producer who is actively uh producing blocks, and also. Okay, producer cannot locate for some reason. Yes, Canada. Yes, what? Hubi and this block producer cannot be located for some reason. And but it was, uh, it was, uh, I saw them. I mean, this was not listed earlier for some. I mean, early on, I can only see two block producer. That's interesting. So you can you can play around with this. You can see all nodes. You can see active producer, top fifty, top hundred block producer. So you can check it out. This is a pretty cool, um. Tools for、uh, locating the block producer. So this is so this is pretty cool. And also,、uh, almost forget,、uh, Binance is going to、uh, have a community coin of the month. The deadline to vote is July twenty nine. So number one is、uh, Mithrid, and the other second one is NKN. NKN token I talked about probably a few weeks ago. They have an airdrop and all that, and it's a pretty、uh, interesting project. And also you have LIBOR credit number three. So if you hold the、uh, Binance token, you can fold the community、uh, coin of the month. So you can check it out. So just like before, like whenever those coin fold to Binance, they're going to have、uh, some kind of like、uh, rally or something for that particular coin, right? So, so this is this is just the、uh, phenomena in the crypto in the crypto ecosystem. So let me know what you think about the ciphergraphs,、uh, the tools to locate the to locate the block producer, and also、uh, the community coin of the month. Who is going to win, and which one is your favorite token? And also,、um, let me know if you are going to、uh, participate in this airdrop. So, but the price has been gross、uh, almost twenty six percent. So you got to be so it's up to you. It's got to be careful. Anyway.、Uh, If you still want to chase, I don't like to chase the high, but it's up to you guys. <clears throat> so let me know what you think. Please comment below.、Uh, if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can share with your friends. You can follow me on Twitter because I follow a lot of under the radar project, and you can check it out as well. Also, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss out the upcoming airdrop. Um, giveaway, hard fork or ICO, and I will continue to provide a quality video for you guys. So I need your support. So smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Remember, crypto deep divers. We the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe. Peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in ICO has inherent risks. Please use due diligence.